All right, it is day 11 of the imminent Christmas advent calendar, where I put my hand into this box of mystery booster packs. I, I know what the booster packs are, I just don't know what's in each pack, obviously, because that would be weird. Uh, and I just grab them, and I'll, I'll, I'll stop explaining now, and just get on with it. We have, wow, another back-to-back -back Power Rangers Fleer trading card uh, pack. So yesterday, day 10, we had one, and today, day 11, we have a second. Uh, so for those of you with very good memories, uh, that can remember watching a video around 24 hours ago, you remember that I said I'd quite like... The Power Rangers in like their outfits, I think, and um, oh, even Uzen is like weird final form kind of thing. So let's see if we get that. Uh, so we don't at the start, but this is their training on that planet thing, and this is called Ro well, Rocky and Adam. Oh, yeah, Rocky was the Red Ranger, wasn't he? Because Tommy took over as the White Ranger. I remember. There we go. That's them. Uh, best defense is a good offense. I'm pretty sure that was a line in the movie, right? And then Kimberly had that really cheesy one of "Have a nice trip. See you next fall." Get it? Because they're gonna fall. It's ninjetti time. What do they call the ninjet? Hang on. So that's Tommy, obviously. Ninjetti. The goggles surprise the ninjas, and one of them classic clashes at Tommy. Cut. What? Well, hang on, what? Ah, oh, cutting his... Ah, cutting his shirt open. Sorry. I was like, Tommy, cut in his shirt open. I see. Undaunted, Tommy quickly calls upon the power of the ninjetti for help. Right, well, there we go. So, uh, we've got two of the ninjas now. We um, had the black um, Power Ranger yesterday. The black ninjetti Power Ranger, I guess. Uh, next... Ah! Now, magic dust. Now, I, I remember her from the movie. That is, that is the woman that showed up with the singing stick. Uh, Dulcia? Yeah. Dulcia seems to be her name. Uh, she gives them the power of the ninjetti, and also she does not wear many clothes. Um, so, you know, that's a, that's a memorable part of that movie. Um, she doesn't show up. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. That's the kind of... Ivan news card I wanted, really. Point of no return. So, he started out not looking as weird. Uh, he kind of had his hat on and stuff. But, ooh. Hey, there we go. So, uh... Aha, many evil powers. There we are. So this is when he's, like, powered up, basically. Uh, yeah, that's powered up Ivan news. That's the stuff of nightmares. Uh, next up, we have... No, hang on, it was this way. It is fried chicken. All right then. So uh, this is when the the things are attack. Uh, I can't remember what they're, they're called. Oh, Tengu warriors. That's it. Yes. Okay. So that's when the Tengu warriors are attacked. They have interesting outfits. Honestly, this movie is like it's bad, but it's enjoyably bad. If that makes sense. It doesn't take itself seriously, which I very much appreciate. And our last card is Purple Haze. By goodness, the... So we've already had Purple Pain, which was, you know, a sort of... Uh, a, a, a play on Purple Rain, obviously, by Prince. And then we have Purple Haze, which is Jimi Hendrix. I'm seeing a pattern here. I mean, admittedly, the ooze is purple and stuff, so you can't really blame them, but yeah... There's a bunch of people being covered in the haze and turning into zombies, I think. I do kind of want to re-watch the movie now after opening so many of these cards, but, you know, I'll hold off for now, but I'm sure I'll bring it up in the future um, one day. I don't know why, but I will. Anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Day 11. Tomorrow will be midway through, technically, the calendar. I, I will be doing a Christmas Day one as well, but... Technically, calendars, advent calendars especially, only last until the 24th. But yeah, right, well, until next time, goodbye.